both Filmora and Adobe Premiere Pro are professional video editors. Which one should you choose? Let's find out in this video. Starting with the basic tools, both offer many options including the blade tool, selection tool, snapping, color options, effects and volume control. Filmora has a few features that make it unique. Those include audio files, screen and webcam recording, shape elements and a few more. Premiere Pro on the contrary comes with advanced keyframes, advanced audio editing, caption editing and generating, tutorials, theme projects, many sequences and some great video and audio effects. One key difference between both is their workflow. You get an adjustable workspace on both to make the program your own. Premiere Pro does the basic stuff for you so that you can focus on editing. For example, if you add a video to the timeline, it will put audio on a different track. In Filmora, you have to do that manually. Pro also comes with two windows, one for the main video and one for the timeline and media. The media window is hidden, but it becomes visible when you double click on a video file or a clip in the timeline. Filmora comes with one playback window to play both timeline and media files, making editing a slow process. Anyway, moving to text titles, you find more than 300 titles in Filmora. All are available in the titles section. Premiere Pro contrarily comes with about 75, available in the graphics panel. Filmora also comes with over 500 transition effects, while you find about 55 in Premiere Pro. Although the difference is enormous, you mostly find professional effects in Pro, while you find professional to social in Filmora. Furthermore, as I mentioned earlier, Filmora comes with elements, which are basically animated shapes and icons to add to your videos. Again, those have more of a social touch than professional. Before we move on, let's talk about third-party support. Premiere Pro supports third-party templates. You find thousands of those online to import into your projects. Some are paid, while some can be downloaded and used for free. This gives Pro an edge over Filmora. With that being covered, let's talk about which ones is easier to use. The number of options Pro offers means it's more confusing, especially for beginners. The program is highly professional and has been used in the Hollywood industry to edit movies. Filmora is easier to use and it does not take much time to master. So, if you want something simple, Filmora might be the one. Anyhow, in terms of required specs, of course Filmora is lighter. And because it's lighter, more computers can run it without any issues. Premiere Pro needs 8 to 16 gigabytes of memory with a good GPU to run smoothly. Finally, Premiere Pro takes about 6.3 gigabytes of storage, whereas Filmora takes about one, which is a lot less than the former. Anyway, pricing is a part of this video. Filmora is a paid tool. Even though you can use it for free, some features are in the premium version. The exported videos also contain a watermark. Premiere Pro is also premium, but you can try the program for 30 days before buying. The issue is in pricing. Filmora costs about 90 bucks for the latest version. If you want updates, the annual plan is available, costing about $62 a year. Premiere Pro is only a subscription-based tool. You can use it by paying monthly or yearly, but you will pay as long as you use it. It comes in a couple of plans, Creative Cloud Membership and Single App Membership. Both memberships come with three different pricing structures. So which one should you choose? It depends on the features you want and what you can afford. Filmora is cheaper, and if you want the stock media, Filmstock is at a reduced price with this software. Premiere Pro is something advanced, and it's what you think of when you want everything available in your hands. So if you want a program for social media, Filmora is fine. But if you believe that you will need more editing power in the future, I suggest using Premiere Pro to master the program as soon as possible. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments and thumbs up if it helped. I'll see you later. Adios.